In today's show, we have a story about safe driving. A story about ceramics. I'm Jessica. And I'm Morgan, and you're watching SVTV. We are making stories by teens for teens. Creating a platform. Finding character. And giving others a voice. This is SVTV. A couple weeks ago, we had an assembly about safe driving habits. There are many ways you can stay safe, including wearing a seatbelt. October 10th was National Put the Brakes on Fatality Day. On this day, we had the Kansas Highway Patrol come to our school and bring a message on how important safe driving is. 50% of the crashes that occur, that are fatalities, happen because the person wasn't wearing a seatbelt. If I can reduce that 50% number just by wearing seatbelts, you know, we're going to be we're going to be ahead of the game. After the assembly, the eighth hour PE classes were able to ride a crash simulator. It was brought to show why it is so important to wear your seatbelt during a crash. I thought that it was very um, thoughtful for the sheriffs and all the people to come and tell stories about what has happened in their personal lives. Um, to give advice to students that anything can happen. It was quite scary because I've been in a car crash before with my cousin and it just kind of reminded me of how, you know, dangerous it is not to ride with the seat belt and the force it puts on your, like, stomach and chest area. She tried to correct the car and then overcorrected and ended up going into an embankment. Some of the students were very inspired by one of the speakers from the assembly. Miss Sarah's story kind of like it's inspiring but it's also kind of scary because it's, she broke her neck and ended up having a joint above another joint that wasn't supposed to be there and that's just scary. It's very easy to get injured in any accident, small or big. So I, I honestly think it is important to wear your seatbelt because you never know what's going to happen. The Highway Patrol would like to let everyone know that there are consequences for not wearing your seatbelt. Make sure to stay safe. Make sure to stay safe. Now for your announcements. Make sure to bring canned and boxed foods for your seminar for trick or treat so kids can eat. The winning seminar will be rewarded with an ice cream party. Juniors, there is an ACT survey on Schoology. Please complete this by Friday. If you are interested in being a dispatcher, see Ms. Noble in the Career and Life Planning Center. Also, the Shawnee North Community Center is sponsoring Tales on the Trails on November 2nd. If you would like to volunteer, check Schoology. Now go over to Morgan to see what's going on with our sports. Five A Regionals for Boys Soccer begins tonight. Admission is $6 for adults and 5 for students. There will be a boys swim team informational meeting on Thursday during CALP in room 911. There is a wellness night coming up. Here's Allie with more. Hey Bikes, I'm here with Mrs. Zermley to talk about wellness night. So when is it? It is tomorrow, Wednesday from 6.30 to 8 here at the high school, weather permitting. And then what are some of the activities that are going to be there? Um, we'll have some elementary activities as well as some high school activities, walking the track, and then some booths from the community to learn information about health things. So what could change if the weather is still not being so great? Um, if it is too cold or if it's snowing or raining like it is supposed to, it's very possible that we could move it inside at the high school. Um, we aren't sure yet on if we are able to do that, so keep posted, watch the announcements, and we'll let you know as soon as we know. Awesome. Make sure and be there. No back to your anchors. Make sure to come check it out. Halloween is the theme for Thursday's football game. No masks are allowed. Now let's head on over to Jessica to find out what the chances of snow are for the rest of the week. Today's high is 41 degrees and tonight is going to be 32. For your SVTV three-day forecast, the next few days are going to be really chilly with the chances of snow and highs in the 30s and 40s. Now back to your anchors. A while back, the ceramics classes created shoes. 
We went to go check out how it went. I thought it would be a fun challenge for them to design and you know create a pattern on their shoes for, of their own that they couldn't buy. And so I think that's what I really like the most about this assignment. I got my inspiration from the Louis Vuitton website because I thought it was going to be so funny and make a fake Louis Vuitton. So that's where I got mine because I found the weirdest shoe I could. I got my shoe from just Google. <laughs> um, I got mine from Cinderella. Um, I got my shoe inspiration from my bedroom and the colors in it. We started, it uh, wasn't the very begin of this, beginning of the semester, it was probably in September. It took them about four weeks to complete it. Uh, ceramics is all about the stage of clay and they have to get leather hard before they can use certain color uh, materials on their shoes. We talked about different surface techniques from Mishima to Scraffito, clay on clay, things that we had covered at the beginning of the semester that they can add a little more creativity to their piece and express themselves through their shoe. And a lot of them did a very nice job with that and that's what I really love to see. Uh, out of the two projects that we've done, my favorite has been the shoe because I kind of got to put my own creativity into it and design it how I liked it and not how like anyone else did. Um, my favorite project will probably be the one we're doing right now, which is like coil, so we're building vases. Yes. Sounds like they had a lot of fun making them. That's all we have for today, Bikes. Have a great rest of your day. And see you tomorrow.